a beautiful readings on this Monday morning that invite us to meditate on the Eucharist. From time to time, it's important to remember the vision, the gift, the blessing that the Eucharist is in our lives. One of my favorite feast days of the year is the feast on Holy Thursday of the Lord's Last Supper. And in that beautiful liturgy, um, today's second reading is proclaimed. And it speaks uh, of how beautiful the rituals and the parts of the Eucharist are in simple terms. Paul was trying to remind the people uh, that uh, had gotten into bad habits. In the early church, earliest church, when they said the Eucharist was a meal, it was a meal. It was a full meal. And people, it was sort of like a potluck. People brought different dishes and the idea was that we shared the food that we had brought and it was brought to his attention that some weren't sharing and they were missing the whole point of the Eucharistic gathering. And Paul reminds us there are four actions in the Eucharist. We take, we bless, we come broken, and we remember. We take that which is given to us freely, the body and blood of our Lord and Savior. We can never take for granted what a gift that is. We can refuse to take it, we may not want it, but it's invited by the Lord to take, to take and receive his very body and blood. We're reminded every Eucharist that we're blessed. God is blessing us every single day of our lives. We can never take for granted the power of being blessed. And the Eucharist reminds us, perhaps more beautifully than anything, that we are blessed people and that we come broken. You know, there isn't a person in this church that hasn't had their own brokenness. We have things happen to us. We have circumstances that we had no control over. We had situations in which we were hurt or let down. And Jesus comes before us as the one who was ultimately broken, physically broken in the act of his crucifixion. But it is in that shared experience of being broken that we find a unity of love and mercy and forgiveness. And finally, the Eucharist is all about remembrance. We remember those words Jesus spoke 2,000 years ago as he gathered on the feast of the Passover. As central to the actions of the Christian community is the remembrance that we experience so that we never forget that Jesus gave of his very life so that we might live for eternity. Thank you for joining us today. Our digital ministry provides a valuable service to parishioners and visitors alike. Daily and Sunday Mass, funerals, weddings, and fireside chats, among other things, can be seen locally, throughout the country, and even the world, in real time or at one's convenience. If you would like to support this effort, please go to olphglenview.org. Click on the gold donate button and then the Sunday giving icon to make a contribution on our secure online giving portal. We sincerely appreciate your past and ongoing support. Thank you for helping us continue this ministry. God bless.